major haul by one of the Middle Eastern's most popular ladies brands. Kayali. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. So the wonderful team over at Kayali, shout out to the homie Kara. She's from the East Coast, kid. Oh, East Coast? I far East Coast. So I'll post that my shorty put up that she liked Yum Pistachio, and apparently they've been seeing the kid for a minute, and they were like, yo, have you tried out any of the other fragrances in the line? And I was like, no. I haven't. Because personally, I thought the Kayali brand was just focused on the baddies. But apparently they got some unisex energy and some stuff for dudes. So they sent your boy a crazy package of about 12 different fragrances from their lineup. And according to the insider reports, these joints end up being sold out on the regular. So I'm super humbled and fortunate to be experiencing this first impressions and sharing it with y'all. All opinions are always one million percent and even they emphasize yo just keep it a stack and let us know what you think <laughs> you asked for it you got it I'm finally gonna be making that 5% of female demographic who's watching me happy not just looking at this super duper handsome face right let's roll my music so we can unbox a lot of Kayali gems <laughs> Morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. I mean, the hype on it is real. Sephora can keep some of these puppies on the shelf. And it seems like anytime I scroll through my Instagram feed, I don't know why there's so many women, like bikinis, sexy model chicks, and all this. And I see Kayali fragrances everywhere. They're all over my Instagram feed. Google, why you got so many women on your Instagram feed? Yo, mind your business. Man, nosy. What are you, my wife? Her name is Chastity. She is trash so if you guys saw the previous video that my shorty took a couple of the fragrances over to her business and had some shorties experience the wedding lines of kayali you already know what time it is this one ended up being the most popular but all the shorties loved that champagne bubbly essence of this joint and i thought it was a wonderful combination and the introduction to this house knowing that they got a little flavor for the dudes and i'm appreciative although fragrance has no gender truly i always remember as a kid my old man being the og in the fragrance game i mean the true og in the fragrance game used to throw on perfumes smelling like a 16 dollars hooker and he loved every part of it he's like bro it don't matter as long as it smells sexy on me and people give me compliments Compliments, I'm with it. I share the same energy, even though I got pitch. You have man boobs. <laughs> so these two fragrances so far have been a beautiful first impression. If you haven't seen the video, I'll put a marker up here so you guys can check it out. But two baddies so far. Let's keep it going. So I wanted to open some of these fragrances in advance just so I won't have to do the entire unwrapping on the video. So the next one I opened, because it had my name written all over it, is Oud Gasm Tobacco Oud, and this one is number 04. Now the notes are listed right in the back of all these fragrances, and this one is Mandarin, White Honey, Geranium, Vanilla, Tobacco, and Oud. Talk to me nice. Oh, and so this one, we got the little glossy diamond jewelry style bottle up in this joint. Bing bang, that's how this joint looks right here. I don't know what this smells like, but based on the notes, I wanna have a oudgasm all over the camera and knowing YouTube, they'll block that too. So let's see what's up with Tobacco Oud 04 Oudgasm. I haven't smelled this joint, this is first impressions for me, and I'm gonna give you the 1000% real. Oh my God. Honey, tobacco, one million percent. Sticky, sweet, very rich, organic, whole food style honey up in here. There's a little bit of a oody this. There you got that subliminal funk at the base, but the honey seems to be like that rich honey, that thick honey that, again, I mentioned in a previous video, that thick, real deal honey has a little bit of a weird smell. It's got a mild funk. If you know honey, it's just honey, right? The tobacco vibes in here is gorgific. There's a soft floral, vanillic energy about this fragrance. It doesn't smell like it's a slouch on performance, nor does it smell like a synthetic mess. It doesn't smell cheap. It doesn't smell like bullshit designer on the shelf. Completely unique from anything else in the collection. But for some reason in my medulla, it has like that artistic tendency of something that a girlan would do. Damn, this is actually very good. All right, so this is gonna be 
one that I'm gonna wanna test on the skin. I hope this doesn't end up being like I'm wearing entire Kayali collection on my skin, but I'm gonna have to put this shit to the side so far. Very good, we're starting off at a great note with that 04 tobacco oud, oudgasm. Next one. All right, so the next one I opened up is Invite Only Ember 23. Beautiful presentation, they're all super clean. And this one is Black Sherry Honey de Provence Tobacco Leaf Amber Resin Vanilla Madagascar. Oh shit, she's looking like a pretty little snack, huh? Shorties be crazy with these joints on their vanities or whatever. For you 5% female followers, you got a sexy little vanity with all your makeup and shit, your, your expensive ass hairbrushes, your tubi, you know what I'm saying? The Rolo action, the blowers and all that shit, $7,000 hair curlers, all that type of energy. Let's see what type of vibes we're on with Invite Only Amber 23. Oh my God. Oh my God, if I smell the shorty with this shit on, I'm taking inappropriate actions. Damn, girl, you a badass. Oof. Claude, have mercy. Oh my God, goose pimpies. Ah, oh, I think I just had a oodgasm. Bro, I'd pull this off, but this would smell bad on a show. Oh, you see the goose pimples, fam? Mm. Sweet, sexy, crystallized, sugary amber, beautiful white florals. The honey here smells nothing like the other one. It's like a honeysuckle kiss on this fragrance. It's got a nice, it's got a nice vibration about this shit. This is a bad snitch in the streets. Why, what? This is delicious. I'm gonna spray this all over my wife's chesticles. Though. I mean, fantabulous. Love it. Bro, it smells like a baddie, bro. If I'm in a spot and I'm just meeting, like, how you doing? My name is Kuba, I got a 10 inch wallet. Doesn't everybody introduce themselves like that? And she's smelling this, for, I'm just gonna be just locked in, laser, like, like Tom, what is it, the Tom Cruise and Maverick? Sniper action, bro. And the hits just keep on coming. Coño, que rico, sweet. Ambery, ultra sexy, vanilla, honey, suckle, white florals, smooth skin. Like this smells like a chick that's got that freshly shaven, shiny skin. Like that lotion is just high glossed all over her body. Ooh, this shit is disrespectful. Back. Amber 23, <laughs> call me. That shit is delicious, next one. All right, so next we're gonna go to Elixir 11. All right, so with Elixir 11, we got Red Apple, Rose de Maya Absolute, Jasmine Sandback Absolute, Vanilla, and Patchouli. Another black glossy bottle with the big stone on top. Ladies, don't get any ideas, cause I'm married. I can't be buying you these big stones. I'm broke as shit. Elixir 11, let's see what's up, what type of energy Elixir 11 is on. Ooh, that is very floral, very floral. This is definitely more a mature. Shorty goes to work in a full-blown suit. She definitely likes fragrances that are rose forward. A little bit on the older, mature aspect. Not full geriatric grandma eating saltine crackers and prunes, broken hip with a walker, but still walking around with her braids and her silk scarf. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Damn, girl, quit playing games. Yeah, very rose forward. It is very classy. This is like the entrance of a Bloomingdale's or a Neiman's ladies department. This is what I would smell in the air, like a badass candle or like atmospheric room scent for like a luxury department store. That's what I get from Elixir 11. Doesn't drive me absolutely crazy because it's been a very, very long time that I've hooked up with a woman, you know, right under her 70s. You'll stop judging me, okay? So, I mean, what's it like being old? It's gotta be weird, right? So Elixir 11, definitely don't have the reactions of the other ones. This is just for a more mature, classy, not singling out our Veteranas, the older delicious demographic. So Elixir 11, nice, soapy, floral, but not my vibe. Next one. So the next one is Vanilla Royal Sugared Patchouli 64. Yeah, this one screams Uncle Cuba, all gold everything, baby. Yeah, buddy. Now the notes in this one are Vanilla Surabsalu, bless you. Golden Rum and Creme Brulee, talk to me nice. Sugared patchouli, royal oud and brown sugar, babe. We get tired of love, I want some more brown sugar. Oh, oh, oh. Go by, don't give up your day job. <laughs> <laughs> you seen the pimpies coming? The booze in here is money grip. You see the pimpies? Sweet rum all 
day. This smells like Sacapa 23. One million percent. If you like rum, try Sacapa. It smells like Sacapa 23. Bro, sweet sugar, booze, rum, cocktail, frosted glass, nicely chilled. Bro, it smells like rum with some sort of scoop of vanilla ice cream. You smell frozen, like chilled, sweet, absolutely inviting. I would rock this shit for sure. That is delicious. Bro, this line is ending up being a fucking problem. I'm here thinking, nah, this is just for the baddies and shit. Dudes can't pull this off. How am I gonna go to the department store? Yo, let me get a Kayali freight. Like, what kind of dude? This shit is delicious. Mamma mia. Put that one to the side. What is this again? Vanilla Royal Sugar Patchouli 64? Make a motherfucker want a 69. Next one. Alright, we're getting back into some Oogasm. Now, this one is Oogasm Cafe. Cafe Oog 19. Let's get more into some oodgasms because Uncle Cuba's pants are wet from all these fragrances. All right, so this puppy's got cappuccino, geranium, rose damask, white musk, vanilla, and oud. Here's what this papa looks like. It's got the black with the burnt orange look. Bro, this line is impressive. I haven't smelled such a diverse and impressive line with this kind of quality since like ATH. I'm not speaking cap, fam. If you smell these fragrances, I mean, they're popular for a reason, no? That is unusual. Hmm, this one's a thinker. Interesting. Very very interesting, actually. There's something aerosolic hair spray kind of scent in here for some reason. That's what it reminds me of. It smells like shorties at the Dominican peluqueria, like getting their hair done. You know what I'm saying? Under the hot hair shit with the rollers on and the net. For some reason, it smells like product hair product wrapped up in rollers under the shit while shorties is talking shit about their husbands while they're at home and yeah this is unusual i get the coffee aspect i wouldn't consider it cappuccino but i get coffee but i get some sort of hair net hair product kind of smell that's just what comes to me it's a coffee espresso musky fragrance i don't dislike it i don't love it either it doesn't move me crazy but it's wildly different i don't know like certain fragrances and scents trigger certain memories you know what i'm saying i grew up in the hood around a bunch of the Dominican shorties in the hair business. So like these are scents that just trigger the back of the brain and like, yo, this is what smells like this to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I could picture the shorty who's wearing this joint under the rollers with like the silk light pants, got the stilettos on matching the pants. I got a silk blouse on. The makeup is beat. She's ready to be at the hairdresser for like seven and a half hours. And when she's done, she's going to go out with her girls using her husband's credit card. I like, I don't love it. Next one. Now let's go with Vanilla 28. Now Vanilla 28 consists of Vanilla Orchid, Tonka Absolute, Brown Sugar, Amber Woods, and Musk. We got a little clear one, Vanilla 28. Vanilla 28. Vamos a ver que clase candela we got here. Let's see what kind of fire we got here with Vanilla. I like Vanilla, bro. There's, a, there's been a nice Vanilla craze with fragrances lately in my collection, so. And this shit can compete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is this rhyming like a little bachata? Son tengo un corazón multivando. Ooh, vanillic, smooth, almost in that Eve Saint Laurent baby cat space. That's dangerous. Look at the goosebumps, bruh. Can't lie, I can't make myself get goosebumps. That shit don't work that way. There's no fan over here like blowing me or something like, that is delicious, but you have to like vanilla. That is pure vanilla creaminess, like pure vanilla bean, like you're scraping the vanilla bean off the fucking uh, pod. Mm, now the Tonka's coming through too. Sexy, unisex as shit, full fucking vanilla vibes. A candle like this would smell spectacular. There's a little bit of a chestnut essence coming out of this fragrance as well. There's like a subliminal chestnut blended with like hazel, like Nutella, like a little Nutella vibe in this piece, subliminal, nutty, chocolatey, well, cacao-ish kind of energy with that vanilla pod vibe. Deliciously delectable. I wanna lick her neck and I wanna do some old school color me bad inappropriate shit. Like when dude used to just walk around with the, you know he was like the first dude with done eyebrows before any Puerto Rican? That's a fact, Google it, next one. Another oodgasm, only this one is Rose Oud 16 Intense. Now this one consists of, what the hell is that, pubic hair? Get the fuck off me, Stanley. Lemon, geranium, Bulgarian rose, vanilla, cashmere wood, and ooh, I mean, sounds good. Now this one is a black and pink or that rose color tone. It's running through all my damn test strips, man. See what type of time Oodgasm Rose Oud 16 is on. Oh shit, that's good. That's a very good rose oud. Mm. Wow. 
Wow, that's a proper rose oud, bro. Definitely pull this off. More goose. How many times you seen in a collection the goose pimples run as much as they have? I don't know what to tell you, my guy. Bro, a proper rose oud. The rose is super well executed. It's almost there at the too much, but it hit like Anillo Adeo, like right on the line, right money. The oud here is perfect. I think what sets it all off is that squoze of lemon. That citrus livens up this fragrance. It's like taking that pure rose absolute essence, that rose oud DNA that we know, taking a little lemon and squozing that shit right on top to cut through what we traditionally known as a standard rose oud fragrance. This is nighttime vibes. This is grown and sexy. This is full blown suit. We partying from dusk till dawn. Your shoe game is on point. You wearing no socks because you're the type of dude nowadays that wants to wear those Capri style pants and show off your cankles. That's fine. I can't do that. I got fat legs. Fat guy in a little coat. That shit is a full sex bomb. Yeah, this is a definite switch and a nice change of scenery when it comes to a Rose Oud fragrance. Oudgasm, Rose Oud 16, Fuego. Shit, let's put it in the like pile. Next one. All right, we're coming down to the wire, folks. This one is Musk 12. Now, Musk 12 consists of lotus flower, jasmine, musk, vanilla, and sandalwood. Another clear bottle. Boom, boom. You know when I'm gonna know these fragrances are good? When I come down to the studio and I find half of these shits missing or I find them in my bedroom on wifey's side, then I'm gonna know these shits is lit when it comes to shorties liking these fragrances. I definitely think she's gonna snatch a few of these joints. But let's see what's up with Musk 12. I don't really love prominent musk fragrances, but we'll see all the musks, like a pillow of cotton. Like if you are having dry humping sessions with Snuggle the Teddy Bear from like the fabric softener. Musk, ultra clean, powdery, delicate, non-offensive, daily wear. You just want to smell clean, like clean laundry, like a big knitted sweater that was freshly dry clean without any chemicals. Just clean, non-offensive. That's the best way I can just describe this shit. A big cashmere sweater that's Freshly dry cleaned without chemicals, ultra clean, cottony, fabric softener, freshness, powdery pillow talk, a bedtime scent maybe. Doesn't blow my nuts off, but there's zero offensive qualities in this fragrance at all. This is for the person who likes to wear fragrance and still be low key under the radar. She's that soft spoken person, internal demeanor. She's, you know, that, mm, you know, I, mm, I don't know, but in the bedroom, she's a crazy freak. They usually are. It's always the quiet ones you gotta be careful. And if she catch you slipping, she will cut a bitch. Oh, this is I'm gonna split you like a lug. That's what I get from this fragrance. Clean, cottony, powdery, cute. That's pretty much it, next one. And finally, Utopia Vanilla Coco 21. Now this fragrance consists of pear, jasmine, coconut, sandalwood, and vanilla bourbon? Mm-hmm, we got that. Rose bottle. Let's see what's up with this final haul of the Kayali lineup, which has been an experience to say the least. Bad bitch alert. Mm. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What's your name? How you doing? How you doing? Mm -hmm. You married? I don't care. I can't touch you, but I can look at you. Damn, your extensions look sexy. Mm, those Lee press on nails. Ooh, I feel like this is the shorty who goes out with leggings because she knows she's got that camel back and everybody's just gonna be like, oh, that's just inappropriate. This one's kind of slutty. I'm gonna be honest with you. <laughs> this is the one that bats her eyes, adds you paying the entire tab and never calls you again. Gives you the rejection line, phone number and shit. I think it was 212-927-7100. Something like that. I wasn't giving it that much. I, I was giving it out. I was doing the giving. Shit. She smells like a slutty chick. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is uh, my interpretation. This smells good, smells delicious. I wouldn't personally wear this joint unless I'm feeling, you know, drag queenish. But this smells like a baddie, bro. I would like to smell this on my chick and spray it in places that, you know, I wanna lay my head on. So, so far out of all these Kayali fragrances, here is my final conclusion of the entire lineup. I'm going to tell you that it's rare, if, especially if you watch my channel, that I've gotten that many goosebumps with a fragrance line back to back to back. Let's keep it a stack, go back and watch all the videos and call me on my bluff. Now, preconceived notion. I thought the entire Kayali shit was about ladies. I thought, oh, she's doing this whole building for the chorties. Like dudes get no love, kick to the curb. The beauty industry is surrounded by women. Dudes get the shaft, you know what I'm saying? Cause we not pretty, we disgusting human beings. However, I was completely 
completely wrong. There's a lot of unisex qualities in here and not just like, oh, this is tolerable enough for me to wear. No, there's some bangers in this lineup. I need to smell more from this line. I am highly impressed. The fragrances that I liked again, Vanilla Coco for the shorties, Rose Oud from that Oudgasm, that Invite Only, disrespectful, Vanilla 28, giving baby cat competition, that Tobacco Oud, Fuego, and that Sugared Patchouli, that Rum Action, disrespectful. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. My shorties who watch me, let me know what you thought. Do you want me to do more girls fragrances? Yes, women empowerment, bad bitches. Yeah. Yes, queen, yes, queen, yes, queen. Bros, did you also think that Kayali was just for shorties and did this open your eye to potentially go to the department store in the Sephora's if they have any in shelf and actually test these puppies out? I'm curious to know, shout out to the Kayali team. Listen, I told y'all, I keep it a stack all the time because I don't give a fuck. I will never steer my audience wrong and the goose pimples can't lie. I mean, that's not physically possible. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart, listen. If you want more Kayali fragrances or you know one that's an absolute bomba, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see y'all stitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. I'm gonna be looking like a bad bitch out here, son. Look at these tits. Smooches. Don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk on my mom's crib. Hey. It's lost since you never get in. It's lost since you would think that you would. <laughs>